This is my first sit-down interview with somebody. <laughs> this is cool. I like it. Big whoa. time. Big time. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Big time. <laughs> Welcome back to Speed Freak TV. We're here at the Mega Speed Custom Car and Truck Show in Toronto, and I'm standing here with one of my personal favorite car builders, Troy Trepanier. Troy, thanks for uh, agreeing to do this. Thanks for having me, man. Uh, tell you what, brought this 60 Chevy here 20, 22 years ago to Canada. Um, thought we'd bring it back, but I tell you, Mega Speed this year, you know, new ownership with Pat. The attendance yesterday was unbelievable, and uh, you know, it's pretty cool. I brought this car back 22, year, 22 years later, and it's amazing how many people were at that show 22 years ago. Yeah, a lot of people have been noticing the car. You know, it's went over really well. We brought this car, it's 22 years old, and brought this little 55 we did for Glenn at Billet, and uh, you know, a lot of people still like looking at that, and it was a great stepping stone for me. Obviously, it's a much nicer car now, but... Uh, yeah, this thing is absolutely radical. This car, when you guys pulled it off the trailer for the breakfast television filming, it stopped the building. You know, it's it's subtle. It's my first black car I've ever painted, you know, you since we've been doing it, so. It is the nicest black paint job I have ever seen. So it's pretty good and wow. uh, very understated. You know, most of the time we modify this stuff up, but uh, Glenn wanted it pretty simple, but it's a great driving car. Wow. I like it because it is clean. The rims on this car are unbelievable. They're perfect. You know, Glenn's in the business. He builds wheels, so, uh, you know, Billet Specials, they can do anything, so he wanted to step it up a little bit on his own car here, did some nice one-offs that will as he does everything will be for sale later in his catalog. Did a really nice retro valve cover and air cleaner package on this car. And uh, you know, he uses it as a tool for his business and, and it just, he does, he's, he's the best in the industry at the bill of parts. I mean, when you call there, you get your stuff, you know, and he's always, you know, they got hundreds of things they're always doing new. So Glenn's on definitely the cutting edge in the industry. Well, it's funny you say that because the best in the business picked the best in the business to build his car. So what were like, what was the challenges you ran into with this, or how much of your influence did you get? You know, on the 55, what's good about this, uh, Chris, is we're doing a lot of stuff. You know, we've done all those power tours all across the country. You know, this was, did the first power tour to 60 Chevy. So we build everything to drive. Now, whether the owner brings it home and drive it or not, that's, that's his choice. Yeah, for but sure. When it leaves my shop, it's on the dyno, it's tested, it drives good. We want you to get in the car when you get it home and drive it and enjoy it, not Oh, hey, let's get in the 55, man. It's cool, but man, it'll wear you out. We want you to get in this thing and drive it. So we've done a lot of upgrades. It's an Art Morrison chassis, but we do different bushings, longer springs. Uh, got a quadrilink, swivel link in the back from Kyle. Just a few little upgrades on Art's chassis, and it's really amazing. When I put Glenn in this, the first thing I did, we've got some pretty rough tracks in our town there. 30 mile an hour right over him. He's grabbing the dash, you know, here we go. But I mean, <laughs> it gobbles the bumps up because when you look at the car, you don't realize it's got a 2012 rim in the back, a 14 inch wide tire, pretty low profile. So you're expecting that bumpy, rough ride. And I'm telling you, it rides unbelievable. That's okay, so one of the questions I hear a lot, Troy, from uh, some of the people I've talked to is, where do you think the hobby's going? You know, a lot of guys want to push the and build cars and do these crazy things, but there's not a lot of money out there. You know, the economy's up and down. Uh, we're very fortunate to have the credibility in the name, and uh, we're very busy, got a lot of good jobs there, and it's taken, you know, 20 years of hard work. I get a lot of guys coming up to me at the show here, and at any show I do, but a lot of the Canadian builders, you know, hey, we got a hot rod shop, you know, we're, we're doing some good stuff, and we, we look and watch what you do, and we want to do everything trick. You know, how do you guys do it? Because, you know, our customers don't have the budget sometimes yeah. and things, and when you come to these car shows, and it can be simple, it can be trick, I don't care. The quality is the key. Quality. Keep it simple, give them the quality. If they got more money, start fabricating and get tricky. But the quality is really what's looked at, period. Because you can do something that's super trick. Guy walks up, wow, and then they start looking at it, it's like, man, ain't that nice. Or you walk up something like this that's super simple, but it's really dialed in. Exactly. Uh, quickly, let's talk about Blowfish. Uh, I wanted, that's a Barracuda. Yep, our 69 Barracuda Blowfish, and we've had it up here before. That was uh, when I was here with my Cuda. Yes. Yeah. It, it's probably been the best thing for us. Uh, car shows are a matter of opinion. What about sick fish, though? You know, sick fish was good, too. <laughs> <laughs> the thing with blowfish, it's a race car. So when we're at Bonneville running it, you either set the time or you don't. You put the number up. It's not, well, it's got 10,000 horsepower. It's fast. So what? Will it do it or not? So that's the biggest difference between a car show, which is subject to opinion, or racing. And the racing's been good for us. Luckily, we've got George behind us. 
We play at a high level. We've set four records. Went 319 last year. 319 uh, is in the a miles an hour. 69 Barracuda, 319 mile oh, an hour. Holy so shit. I don't know what that is in kilometers, but it's up there a ways, right? Uh, Jay, 319 times 1.6. Got to be 400 plus, right? 319 times 1.6. We're gonna get some numbers on it, but it's fast. Uh, we got a calculator over there. It's uh, is it? 510 Ooh. 510, 510 kilometers. kilometers. Man, in a stock wheelbase 69 Barracuda, so oh that's my getting God. after it. Well, kilometers, miles an hour, that's pretty freaking fast, man. Holy jumping. Wow. Now that set a record, did it not? Yeah, we've set four records. That, this last year, we have a, we did a, they do an average. Our average was 307.4. That's the second fastest average in 63 years out there with anything with doors on it. Now, when I say doors, like some of them are stretched out. Like our class, you know, you could have a 20 foot front end on it. Ours is stock wheelbase. So we're one mile an hour from the fastest average ever. We're going to break that next year. And now, I guess, are you saying next year or this August? Uh, this August. I'm, this yeah, August. This August. Okay. This year, actually. So, yeah, you were uh, saying earlier. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a year ahead already. <laughs> but, uh, the biggest thing when I talk about Bonneville, if you haven't been there, there's 520 participants there last year. Streamliners, which are the bullet cars, Lakesters, which are bullet cars with exposed wheels, trucks, bikes, etc. We're the fourth fastest record in a car, and everything around us was streamliners. So that's a, it's a it's a big deal, you know, when we run that. Car. So what would you tell any other hot rodders in the U.S.? It's not hard to get to Canada. Piece of cake, man. I mean, it's no different than. But there's this in the Canada, the United States. There's this whole big. Oh, you know, the border is so tough to get yeah. through and that, but... It's really easy. It's no different than going anywhere else. I mean, get in the truck and get up here. You know, I mean, it's uh, we're starting to get a lot more American builders up Just here. Just don't forget your passports. <laughs> yeah, bring your passport. Bring your passport. That's the only difference, really. you got to have that little green book instead of, yeah. a, in, you know, instead of just your driver's license, but... No, but even uh, if you wanted to bring your cars up, but you guys it's did. It's an easy drive. It's yeah. no problem. No, no they, they open make it the, very easy. They usually open the trailer and say, see you later. It's a piece of cake. There's no no hassle. I yeah. mean, we've been doing it all these years, and, and we're coming back next year. Absolutely. That's fantastic. Um, so as far as mega speed, what do you think? I'll tell you, it's, uh, it's refreshing. Uh, I've had several people come up just talking to them in general. You know, hey, we used to come to the shows, and it kind of started turning us off, and then they come back because they knew it was mega speed, new name. New ownership, people are excited again, man. And you know, guys, I'm gonna bring my car back again next year. You know, awesome. I brought them in the awesome. past, so the vibe I'm getting is very good. You know, and the the free parking, man, that's a big deal. That's that I mean, is you go a big to all these deal. other events we do here. Oh. Spend a hundred dollars a week in a parking, free parking, little things like that make a big difference. And you know, and the guys at the show, the little parties they have for us, they give back to the builders. The we want to come back. So, what do you think of the VIP night? Great stuff. Wasn't man. that good? Number one, you get to meet new people, yep. intermingle, Absolutely. and you're giving back to the guys that are making it happen. So. It's only benefiting them, you know. I know the owner of the show, one of his big concerns was that the VIP night needs to come back, and he did it. Yeah, and he did. I We've, I've been to Vegas, you know, 25 times to see him a show. You go to these parties, Ford or somebody puts on, there'll be a little bit of food, you know, and then as it about halfway through, it's gone. We're the last ones to leave, and they're still handing out food in there, so they did it. Pat and the guys did a great job. Well, listen, I know you're a busy guy. We're going to let you get back to signing your autographs and stuff like that, but Troy Trepanier from Rad Rides by Troy. He is totally an American ambassador to Mega Speed and a big fan. And uh, thanks for being on Speed Freak thanks, TV. Brother.